Davis, welcome to uh, Wrexham Football Club. Uh, first and foremost, how did the move come about for yourself? Uh, no, I was just, um, obviously I was up at Ross County um, not long ago, a couple of months ago. And um, as soon as I came away from here, I knew Wrexham were, were interested and it took a while to get, I was in a, a few clubs training and stuff, but this came up not long ago um, the other night and I came straight down, saw all the facilities and stuff and it was, a, it was a perfect, perfect match, you know what I mean? And, I've heard good things about the supporters and stuff and it seems like a great, a great, a great move for myself. So almost a no-brainer perhaps then? Almost a no-brainer, yeah. I know, I know that obviously the, the platform to play on here is, is brilliant. Um, a little bit closer to home for myself so hopefully I can get settled and, and get going straight away. Obviously I know uh, you spent some time up in Scotland, um, Sunderland boy yourself. Mm. Obviously you've not been playing for the last couple of months. and. How have you been keeping fit? I know you've mentioned you've been with clubs and things like that, but do you feel ready to get straight back into the action? Of course, yeah. Um, straight in. I, hopefully we get it sorted for Saturday and I can, I can get out get out there at home in front of the fans and, and make a difference. That's all all I'm here to do, really. Get get goals and, and assists and stuff like that and, and get us moving up the table. So hopefully, yeah, like like I say, I've been keeping fit. I've been doing stuff myself. Uh, but obviously you've got to be ready for, for this opportunity and this, this opportunity's came, so you've got to go and smash it. In terms of uh, the Rexman supporters and uh, who may not know much about yourself, what type of player are you? Where do you see yourself fitting into the side? Um, I know the gaffer here. He likes he likes creative players. Um, I, can, I can say myself. I like creating stuff, uh, getting assists, getting shots off a goal myself. Um, no, just everything really. Just just to get try and get the supporters off off, off the seat. You know what I mean? That's what football's about. And um, hopefully. String, string some wins together, a few goals and, and the club can go, go on the up. Obviously just over 50 appearances for yourself in the professional game league-wise and playing up in Scotland, you played in front of big crowds. I guess you know all about expectation that comes with football. Yeah, of course. Obviously you've got your, your Celtics, your Rangers and stuff like that up there, massive, massive clubs. They've all got big support. Um, it's just it's a, it's a great test for you as a young boy then down to come then to come down here as well it's it sort of helps you massively um so hopefully i can fit straight in and, and the fans in, in big numbers will, will not affect us one bit yeah in terms of uh, where the club is at the moment as well uh, we were talking off camera a few moments ago about the, the size of the football club here obviously in a relegation battle in the national league at the moment was there any qualm about coming into that sort of situation for yourself or do you relish that sort of opportunity? No, no, I, I love it. I think football's all about pressure and the more pressure for me, the better because y you know you've got to perform. Um, as I said to you just there two minutes ago, the club's far too big to be, to be down here at the bottom, do you know what I mean? So I feel a few, a few wins and once I gel with the boys, hopefully things change quickly. So I'm looking forward to it. In terms of your football education as well, not uh, a bad one either. The likes of Middlesbrough, Sunderland, obviously you've come through in some sort of elite academies as well. Yeah, well, I did up till about 16, 17. I was always in academies and stuff. And um, as soon as I turned 16, 17, I knew I had to get first team games under my belt. And if for, a, for a young kid like myself at the time, I just wanted to play men's football and I was sort of a smaller boy. But I knew I had to get out there and, and improve my, uh, my physical side of the game. And that, that all came together and, and, I, and I broke in. So I'm pleased and we're here now. So In terms of obviously you looking at, the, we mentioned the fact that it comes to the relegation battle. Is that the sort of short term aim? And do you have further long term aims for, for an extended period with the football club? Of course, um, all, all being well, we go, we do really well. Hopefully I can sit down with the manager and I can, I can, I can find out his plans. But to me, this, the size of the club and the, the ambition from the manager and what I've spoke to him, it's, it's, it's second to none, do you know what I mean? So I'd, I'd happily be a part of that for the for the foreseeable future. You've been here uh, only a couple of days. Have you had a chance to meet the lads and um, perhaps take part in the session? What were your first impressions? Yeah, well, I went in, a few, few good lads there. It's a, it's a great bunch. I know the, 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 mood's, the mood's still brilliant. Um, so when I went in and trained, I, it was it was good. The facilities are good. Everything about it. So I just felt felt at home. Do you know what I mean? So I'm happy. Cheers, Davis. Perfect.